Daily Planet. The Rhino Armored Van can stop pretty much any weapon that comes at it. Plus, its bulletproof one-way windows let you return fire from inside the vehicle. They're considered some of the toughest vehicles in the world. Not very pretty, but very effective. They've carried some of the highest ranking government officials in the world through the deadliest combat zones. The Rhino Rhino vehicle in particular has been subject to fire from uh, rifles, high caliber rifles, have been attacked by uh, bomb laden trucks and bomb laden cars, have been attacked by improvised explosive devices, by mines and by just about every weapon the enemy has thrown at us. Getting out in one piece is the number one goal. I know from first-hand experience why armored protection is critical because I've been there. I'm Charlie Massey. I'm a Marine with multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. These days, Charlie's traded his fatigues for civvies and works closely with Marty Miller and the Armor Group, sending the latest in high-tech armored trucks into the line of fire he knows so well. That's great. It felt safe. Marty's seen action too, and he knows civilians can sometimes get caught in the crossfire. We're producing armored kits for a commercial client in Southeast Asia because the terrorists are shooting their drivers as they transport workers. Uh, Homeland Security to patrol the border with Mexico. Courthouses. In scary and very real scenarios like that, staying alive requires more than just bulletproof steel. The key is to blend in. We camouflage the armor for two reasons. We keep the population from being unjustly concerned, and we also tend not to attract enemy fire. Right now we're in our typical passenger van that we are going to install our armor in. And by the time it's done, you won't be able to tell that it's armor plated. It'll look like your regular passenger van. We can give you 360 degrees of protection. What that means is the ceiling, the walls, and the floorboards, as well as the front windshield, all the glass all the way around. But this glass is special. It doesn't just stop bullets. Set it in place. Never before has the strength of the glass equal the strength of the armor and exceeded it in capability because you can't shoot out through armor and you can shoot out through our glass. It's called one-way reverse fire bulletproof glass. It's a major advancement in that it gets, it turns a victim into someone who can protect themselves. That's never happened with ballistic glass before. Meaning, if you're on the inside of this glass, you're protected from gunfire, and you can shoot back. Okay, this right here is an AK-47. This is the most commonly used weapon around the world right now. Today, they're putting it to the test at a shooting range using AK-47s, the gun of choice for bad guys. There are more of these in the hands of our enemies than any other firearm, whether it's an enemy or drug dealer, whatever. Jeff Dixon is a seven-time Florida State champion marksman. I've heard of it before, but I've actually never seen the one-way glass before, but it sounds awesome. From 15 meters, the typical distance a sniper shoots from, Jeff will fire three rounds into the glass and then flip it over and shoot from the other side if it's still in one piece. So far, we've shot two shots in there with the AK-47, and we're getting ready to shoot a third shot into it. Three shots later, and it's still as smooth as, well, glass. What makes our glass so unique is we use a cold rather than the hot process to join acrylic, a very hard substance, with polycarbonate, a more flexible substance that contracts. That cold process prevents the glass from deteriorating and yellowing. Oh, I got Jeff's moved to within three meters of the target using another powerful weapon. 
This you would find in the hills of Afghanistan right now. Um, this is a counter sniper rifle that we are currently using to defend ourselves. If this glass sprays on impact, it's coming straight at him. That is unbelievable. I got nothing back at me whatsoever. No glass. I didn't feel anything. We, the passengers, right? Exactly. And we totally destroyed the target behind it. As innovative as it is, experience has taught Marty one thing. Threats are constantly changing. As the threats become, we're going to have to stay on top of it and continue to be one step ahead. I would remind you that nothing on the battlefield hasn't been destroyed at some point, including unsinkable battleships during World War II that are at the bottom of the sea. The trick is to stay ahead of them.